So in discussing capacitors, we have said that uh, capacitor will have three properties: capacitance, working voltage, and reactance. I said its reactance is also its resistance. But it is this resistance to signal. I would say that that resistance will become infinitely high to a DC signal because of its frequency at all at zero. We tend to say that the higher the frequency, the lower the reactance. But the lower the frequency, the higher the reactance. And that reactance is also a what? A resistance to what? To that signal. Does it make sense? We went further to say that there will be two types of the capacitor, the polarized and the non-polarized. And we said to effectively use a capacitor, while calculating for its capacitance, which is a function or a, a, a future of how much capacity it has to determine how much of stored electricity or charge it can keep, more importantly will be its working voltage. So we say that to use a capacitor, Within any part of your circuitry, make sure that the capacitor's rated working voltage is higher than the voltage across it. If the voltage across it becomes higher than the rated working voltage of that capacitor, the capacitor does what? Swerves and what? And bursts. 